and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blanc from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Yeah. Are you prepared for the winter? Being ready for the winter is for normal people very easy. You need a warm blanket for the couch and the snow shovel outside. And this is it. For a self-sufficiency farm there is a lot more to do. What I had to do and how I stay in the winter time, you know in this video. So if you want, stay tuned. self-sufficiency farm you can meet everything and so here in the background you see some old branches I saw it away because the tree is dead and now you can bring it away or you can fire it away but I can use it for the winter it stay exactly here because under this old branches and leaves they can stay on hedgehog for the winter sleep and in the springtime I need these branches for my vegetable garden. This here is an old swimming pool from my children and I use the rainwater here because um, the, the ducks need some place to swim. I don't have on sea, I only had on small creek and here it is perfect to clean um, the ducks so they love to go here inside and searching there for food inside and clean their um, their feeders. I want that my garden is a perfect garden for insects because they are so important for our world and um, for my vegetable and fruit garden because without insects I had no fruits. So I'm looking that I had an area that is perfect for insects. This means that I let the leaf at the ground. I only make some um, parts with leaf and put it together, but the leaf can stay there till the spring because some insects are there inside for the winter sleep. And I also had some insect hotels. You can see that here the holes are closed. That means that here are babies inside, but not many wild bees um, lay their eggs in such insect hotels. The most wild bees lay their eggs into a um, sand ground. So it is m much better to have a um, small space with sand at your garden. Um, these insect hotels are not so important. I tell you in the last self-sufficiency videos that I had here this old bee house and I want to have bee there inside again. But sadly I don't have bees, bees till yet. Why? Because there is so much information you need to know about bees. And before I didn't get this information um, I can't let their live bees. So I don't want that they died. So I had to need more information about having bees and make a course how to um, work with bees. Some people put their um, birdhouses for the winter months inside of the house because they think that they um, live longer when they are not in the snow and cold. But I let them where they are because some birds that stay here for the winter times use them in the winter nights because here is a little bit isolation and it is a little bit warmer than outside. So some people use them without breeding. Uh. 
I am sorry that this video is not so silent. You hear there are everywhere, every time noises around. My chickens, my dogs, the sheep, children are playing. The road is uh, close to the house. So it is not so silent like I want, but this is my life. And now you had a closer view how everything here is. My chicken and my ducks lay only eggs in the comfortable months, so in the hot summer and when winter is cold, they don't lay eggs or not so many. So I had the most eggs in the springtime and in the fall. This happens when you let the door open when it should be closed. The sheep know it in a few minutes that there is a do door open and are outside because the better food is always outside. One sheep had to leave in the last days. I lost one sheep in the summer months because someone feed him the wrong thing and the, the animal doctor was there but he couldn't help the sheep anymore. He died, she died and um, a few days ago another sheep died, one of my oldest ones. Um, the name of him was Burr and the children and I loved them because um, it was there for such a long time and um, it had an, a knot in the, in the um, not in the stomach, in the duck, it is the right word. Um, and the animal doctor was there but he said he cannot help him. There is the option to operate but um, he thought that it doesn't help because it was <laughs> too long. So he had to bring the sheep to sleep forever and this was not an easy decision because we love every one of our animals and this sheep was for such a long time there and we all say goodbye. The children was again there when he was dead and say goodbye and also the other sheep can come because we let him here in the sheep house for the night and all the sheep can come and say goodbye because animals also know when someone of their animal friend are dying. Here is a little bit of the hay and another one I had in the house but it is not enough for the winter i can only make hay one time this year this year because it was um, at the first period of the summer it was too hot i water the meadow but it wasn't enough and at the second part it was too red and the meadow don't grow enough so the fall was very easy this year because it is for an, it was for a long time very warm 
and that means that the grass is growing and the sheep can um, had the sheep had their food outside at the meadow but now the grass doesn't grow anymore and this means that I had to give them the hay um, but I had to buy um, a little bit more because I don't get enough this year and this also means I had to give money um, and in the winter time I had to clean um, the, the animal houses very often not only because of the dirt because they bring so much water and wet here inside and this means that it is cold here water means coldness in the winter time and I want that they had it warm and comfortable and that they had a good isolation cover and for this I had here the rest of the cereals and this lays here everywhere at the ground so they had it warm, dry and comfortable. I put all the fruits down from the trees and they are empty now. I, um, I had the fruits in my cellar, I want to show you later. And the only thing that I had to do in, at the end of the winter is cut the, the fruit trees. But um, this, hap this happens uh, in the next year. So, and when I cut the trees, the sheep are very happy because they love to, to eat the bark of the trees. There are some minerals inside and they love to eat them. This is a very old fruit tree, the quince and the medlar. I'm sure that not many people know them in this time. This fruit here is uh, first ready when the winter is there because the cold temperatures make the fruit sweet. And this here is perfect for the winter times when you had... <coughs> so it helps you when you are ill. It's hot, get away. This is all the hay that is left for the winter. It is not enough, I had to buy more. It is not so easy because I, I don't have a meadow only for hay. I had two meadows for the animals and I can um, close the door between so that at the one meadow the grass is growing and I can make hay and the animals can stay at the other meadow. But it is not enough for so much animals, so I had to buy again hay. And it is not so easy if you don't have enough space to, um, to storage more hay. It is in the winter time expensive to buy it because then everyone needs the hay. And in the summer times, when you buy the hay in the summer time, it is not so expensive, so it don't cost so much. I really, really, really hate plastic. And I look that I don't have to use plastic. But sometimes there is no other way. And I found um, in the World Wide Web someone that spent, um, that had a gift for animals, so <coughs> this here is um, the rest of the 
um, cereals plant and it cost nothing so I'm happy that I get it and he bring it in this plastic bag so um, when it costs nothing I don't can say no please take your plastic again with you so I am happy that I had it I also want to have fresh salad in the winter time so here in my glass house in truth it isn't a glass house it is a plastic house because glass houses are too expensive I had here some winter salads inside um, because um, they stay there for the whole winter and some other vegetables I don't know the English word for every one of it but it can stay there for the whole winter when the door is closed. And when it is too cold, I had a an, an, an candle inside there. And an grave, is grave the right word? Um, a grave candle because it burns for a long time and then it is not so cold here inside. In my permaculture vegetable garden the whole year something is growing. When I put the one vegetables outside I, I put the next one inside. So every time is something growing. This is important that the wind and the rain don't bring your earth away. So there are always plant outside and inside of the earth and this this make that the earth stay exactly there and all the plants that I don't need anymore I left them there for the winter because it is good for the animals for the insects to sleep there for the winter and also good for the ground um, because the cold temperatures will let them rotten very faster and in the spring I can I can put them under the earth with the shovel and this makes a um, very good earth. This rabbit here is ill. Normally it stays outside, it lives outside with a big area, but now it had to be here inside in a smaller box because the skin is hurt he had an infection and so he had to stay here inside but here it is warm and comfortable and I think he enjoyed it. It's a very old um, rabbit. Um, this one here is called Deutsche Riesen um, and I had no idea how old he is because I got him from a friend who died. So it is a very 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 old rabbit and we love him and we hope that he is get well here inside faster than outside this here is my home medicine i collected the whole year there are some medicine plants i dried at home and then i put it in some glasses of course this is not all i had a lot of i had a lot more but this here are some medicine plants and when someone out of the family is ill I took this one first before we go to the doctor. Here is some part of my long-term vegetable and fruits marmalade. Here I had some self-made choices and my 
um, long term vegetables everything what I had too much in the garden for eat them at the moment and fresh I make um, yeah I make self-made um, and long term self-made food out of it and so I can eat from this the whole winter and in the springtime when we had again fresh um, vegetables it is complete out so this is perfect for save money I had a very very old roof window here and um, I want to make an extra room here for the children to play because upstairs they had not so much space in their room so I want to make the room here but there's a big problem because there is this old roof window inside and when it rains there come water inside and I had to um, I had to save it into big um, bowls and uh, this is a big problem at this time everyone who had children knows that it's a problem to save money with two small children because they always need everything so um, I had to do this but in the moment it is not possible So this is my cellar. I only had an earth cellar, so it is very wet here. But it is perfect to um, bring there my apples and my pumpkin and all the other fruits that I can storage here over the winter. So I don't have to buy apples for the winter and uh, also the pumpkin stay there for the whole winter and some other vegetables I had here in sand because into sand they are um, fresh for a long time and this is perfect so um, I love the cellar because um, I can storage there so much fruits and vegetables for the winter months so this is a part of that that I had to do before the winter months are there. Of course not all, there are some more work like making firewood and fire starter but I can't show you everything because then the video will be too long. Too long. So it is a little bit more to do for being prepared for the winter months when you had a farm and when you want to do self-sufficiency but I love this lifestyle and I won't miss it because um, it is a very nice way to live to know from where your food came from and um, it is also perfect for the kids that they can grow up and know from where food comes so that children know that food is not growing into the supermarket, that this is an animal or you had to plant it and take care for the plants. I love this lifestyle. So I hope you enjoy this video and we see us again at the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye.